Nan Golden has become one of the major photographers of the latter part of the 20th century, and her mid-career retrospective at the Whitney Museum of American Art was one of the highlights of the 1996-97 New York art season. Hi, I'm Sarah Berry. Golden's compelling exhibition featured photographs culled from over 20 years of taking pictures of her friends, extended family, and surroundings. Organized by curator Elizabeth Sussman, and selected by Nan Golden and her longtime friend and colleague, David Armstrong. These photographs tell a personal and passionate tale of Nan's life. This critically acclaimed and highly successful show moved and engaged throngs of visitors at the Whitney Museum. In her downtown loft, Golden talked with Art New York about her work. How did you get interested in photography? I went to a hippie free school, which was a common type of alternative schooling in the late 60s in America. And there were no classes. And I pulled one of, some of the people who taught there were graduate students at MIT. And through their connection, they got a grant from Polaroid. And Polaroid gave the school cameras. Oh. And I became the school photographer. I had kept a diary since I was a child. So immediately, photography became my kind of visual diary. And uh, what did you photograph? My best friend, David Armstrong, who I still photograph, now 28 years later. The other kids at school, myself, the same subject matter, basically. And what do you think, what do you, think you were doing with those photographs? Well, what were you capturing with those photographs? I was making a record of my life. I was, um, as always, my photography has come out of emotional need rather than aesthetic choice. Mm -hmm. And I needed, I needed to make a record because I came from a um, family and a culture that was based on, you know, don't let the neighbors know. That was the gospel. And I wanted to let the neighbors know what was going on in my house and find out what was going on in their house. So from very early on, it was about making this kind of anti-revisionist record of my life. You can look at a picture of Nan's and you can think about everything from the shoes somebody's wearing to the big mistakes or <laughs> they're making with their lives or the, you know, the great things that are happening to them. And it's this, um, it's, it's the humanity, in a funny way, it's, you know, everybody talks about concern photography, you know, and humanitarian pictures and uh, that's what Nan's work is about. Nan's work is about being alive. Nan's work is as complicated as that and that's, uh, that's, it's not about making pretty pictures. It's not about creating a false picture about who she is or what the world is or what things look like. It's not um, kind of grandstanding to find a place in history. It's not catering to an art market. It's just this real, direct expression of what she's feeling and what she's seeing in front of her. And I don't know anybody who does that better than she does.